What's up, Aquilites? This is the first freaking grenade mod. Woohoo! Yeah, I don't really know. It's, um, it's, this is on the legendary grenade mod called the Rolling Thunder, and it is the first grenade mod that I've ever freaking done. So, it's kind of awkward to, you know, get some gameplay for, but it worked out. It worked out. Don't worry. You're just, you're in for a treat. Um, I have hit another orange, so be on the lookout for that. Um, so you're going to be farming Wilhelm again for this, just like the Logan's gun, so, you know, you... You could get like two guns back to back, or not guns, but you know what I mean. Two legendaries back to back. Um, so yeah, the uh, drop rate is about the same as the Logan's gun. Um, this thing is um, pretty much the same thing as the bonus package legendary grenade mod, and it's manufactured the same. But um, the only thing, the only catch on the Rolling Thunder is that it's always rubberized. So yeah, if you want like a rubber, say you want a rubberized bonus package, go get the freaking Rolling Thunder. That'll work out. Um, <clears throat> and it's easier to farm for. So, you know. Like, all you have to do is, like, you can't fast travel to the end of the line. You have to go through the Tundra Express. But, like, once you get to that fast travel point, like, where you can fast travel out of the end of the line, then it's, uh, you can just keep spawning there and it's really easy. So, um, this is a, a short wiki. So, I'll read it here really quick. The Rolling Thunder is a legendary grenade mod manufactured by Tor. Rolling Thunder is obtained randomly from any any loot source, but has an in increased chance to drop from Wilhelm located in the end of the line. The Thunder shall bring forth the pain, is the red text. When thrown, the grenade has very little arc and stays low to the ground. It behaves like a lobbed rubberized grenade at first, but each bounce has a detonation after several bounces or contact with any hostiles in it. With any hostiles, it explodes like a merv grenade. Should I slow down? I should slow down. The name of the grenade is a reference to Operation Rolling Thunder, a massive bombing campaign conducted by the USA during the Vietnam War. And it was also a kill streak in Black Ops 1. Booyah! Um, so yeah, this thing, um, I use it against Skags, Bandits, and... What is it? Hyperion Loaders in this video, but it kind of sucks against, like, Loaders and stuff. Oh, and Hyperion Personnel, but that's, like, the same thing as Bandits. But, um, it's, like, it's really bad against Loaders, just because, like, I think... Um, I think loaders are kind of resistant to explosive damage just a little bit because I think they're armored and that's why they're resistant to it. So it's just it's just harder to kill loaders with it. Um, bandits I found were kind of hard, but that's probably because I was fighting like uh, bone crushers and big old nomads and stuff. So that's probably why. But um, while I was fighting the skags, as you throw it, it bounces. You know, each time it hits, it has a little detonation on it. So like. Each time that hit, it did hurt some skags as it was bouncing to its target. So it did work out. Like on the very first throw, I think, I, like the third bounce in, it exploded and almost, it like took away half a skag's health and then exploded later on. And it spawns, I've actually seen this um, spawn 10 child grenades before. Like there's a there's a mod that does spawn 10 child grenades is what I meant to say. Um, and it's, yeah, mine is 9, but it spawns 10. So it's just like the bonus package, but rubberized. So it's like, I prefer rubberized grenades sometimes. I hate homing, but I prefer rubberized. I don't know why I threw that in there. But um, I love rubberized because like I like the short fuse time. Just basically, the second it hits someone, it blows up. So Or like gets really close within their proximity. So, you know. I don't know. I hope you understand what I'm saying, by the way, because I'm kind of like rushed right now. Um, so yeah, I got one more video after this. One more, and then I can stop for today. For today. For today. Trust me. Uh, so I almost went to uh, E3, to be honest. I would have made videos on that, but I couldn't. I didn't have enough money for it, and I was really upset. It's like 850 freaking dollars. But yeah. Uh, so I kind of want to make like a... Uh, ooh, what is it? I want to make new Let's Plays and stuff. Like I got Hitman, and then I got Road to Diamond, and I got Highlights. And that's it. But I want to make like another Let's Play, because I got, I got uh, Lee... Lily, Lee, 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 uh, no, anyways, uh, Lee, um, using, sorry I'm not talking about the Rolling Thunder, by the way, there's not really much to say, but I got Lee editing the Hitman Let's Play, but I want to do one myself, so, you know, if you got any ideas, throw that out there, and, um, someone asked me to do the conference call, I think it's Porker 53 Gaming or whatever, I will definitely do the conference call for you, um, I just gotta get to that point in the game. I am that I am at that point pretty much, but like I just gotta do a certain thing for it. So I will get it up as soon as possible. But um this one's going up first, then I got this one, then I go um, then I'm gonna go record the Jolly Roger and then I'm gonna get the conference call hopefully. So we'll see. Uh so yeah, 
Uh, like, favorite, subscribe as always. Give me some feedback. Oh my god, yes, I love feedback. Please give me more feedback. Uh, I'm out of here, Aqua Knights. Later.